Hello, intelligent automation community. Um, after the four videos that I did from Vegas, uh, it only seem fair to balance the scales and bring you some of the inside scoop on Blue Prism World Virtual. Let's queue up some of those sweet repurposed promo animations. So Blue Prism is going virtual again due to three consecutive years of human malware. And I know that many of you are burnt out on conferences, particularly ones that are virtual. It seems to be uh, that that's compounded by the fact that a lot of the intelligent automation conferences out there seem to be just a list of executives who are willing to get up and pontificate around the potential for future of work and regurgitate the latest buzzword sales pitch. Somehow we also seem to be getting a lot of speakers that fail to demonstrate any real world experience or impart practical takeaways for you. Uh, it seems that Blue Prism SSNC has really picked up on this. And in fact, for the first time, um, to keep things really focused, there seems to be no sponsored sessions um, this year at the event. To keep things concise, Blue Prism World Virtual is streaming for only a few hours on May 10th. If you're in Europe, check that out at 10 a.m. Uh, London time, and if you're in the U.S., check that out at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Also, if you dive into the agenda, you'll notice something unique. Uh, again, instead of uh, just a ton of high touting titles, Every session seems to involve a COE program head or COE leader that's sharing their customer experience. In fact, why don't I have uh, one of my fellow Texans tell you a bit more about the customer success direction of Blue Prism World this year. Hey all, I'm Cameron Broussard and I lead customer success in the Americas here at Blue Prism. Blue Prism World is different this year for the benefit of our attendees. It's a virtual half day event because we wanted to keep it simple avoid content overload and conference fatigue by only focusing on a few meaningful things. This year, you'll hear from three customers about their accomplishments along their journey. We'll explore the thought leadership methodology and capabilities that unify these organizations under a clear vision for their future. We believe Blue Prism World is a milestone along our customer's journey. It's an opportunity for customers to find direction, clarity, and motivation that's actionable. We wanted to then encourage deeper conversations around execution in a more meaningful and personable way at events that we'll be announcing soon. But I hear that Josh may already have some details worth sharing. Thanks, Cameron, and uh, great to catch up with you and the team uh, down in Austin a few weeks ago. Uh, now, as Cameron mentioned, Blue Prism is setting up a series of smaller regional events that are modeled after the old BP Pulse uh, three-quarter day kind of format, if you're familiar with that. Uh, the first one is set to kick off in Madrid on May 25th, followed by London. I think there's a Chicago one in that lineup, uh, Singapore, and Frankfurt over the next few months. Now, there's also other regional events that have been planned, but they're constantly evolving due to kind of, you know, world conditions right now. Uh, the regional events that I currently know about will be shown at the very end of this video, uh, but you can find the latest details at the same site where you sign up for Blue Prism World Virtual. Now, let's say that you're already part of a wildly successful RPA program, and the customer journey angle just isn't the big draw for you anymore. You're then also probably aware that Blue Prism was just recently acquired by SSNC Technologies. And very few people outside of SSNC and Blue Prism have been read into the specifics on what that acquisition really means for SSNC and Blue Prism customers. Fortunately, Michael McGaugh, uh, SSNC's managing director over the new uh, combined uh, entity, uh, will be publicly discussing what the combined roadmap looks like for the first time at Blue Prism World Virtual. Now, as somebody who's been read into this uh, quite a while back, I can tell you that SSNC's Chorus IDP and BPM capabilities paired with Blue Prism is going to get very, very interesting. In fact, if you already have Blue Prism and Chorus document automation deployed like my team at Reveal Group, make sure to check out the integration that quietly snuck onto the Blue Prism Digital Exchange this past Friday.
Now, I think we can all agree that the acquisition of Blue Prism is a huge changing of the guard in the intelligent automation industry, and I hope you'll bear with me on just a little nostalgia. So, uh, shortly before the company went public, Blue Prism co-founder Dave Moss filmed a TED Talk on how virtual workforces were going to evolve work. I'll make sure that you can get to that either around here or somewhere down in the video uh, description so you get to that easily. But I think we can all say that both directly and through the markets that they created, Blue Prism undoubtedly enacted Dave's vision to evolve work. Now, I look forward to hearing how the combined SSNC Blue Prism will hit their tagline to revolutionize the business. By the way, uh, Blue Prism team, my address hasn't changed since I uh, left for Reveal Group, so if you want to drop the commission check for this promo video in there, just send that to the same place. Um, so, actually, no, really, uh, if you haven't checked out uh, Dave's TED Talk or just haven't even checked it out in a while, do make sure to check it out. It holds up timelessly. Finally, I know that the messaging for Blue Prism World Virtual this year is to stay away from product-heavy sessions. However, <laughs> I, I still hope that they'll show a couple of the upcoming functionalities I've been playing with in, in, in closed beta. Um, specifically, I'd be interested in everybody's feedback on the upcoming Blue Prism desktop and the upcoming REST APIs that are integrated in version 7.1 that give you access to all sorts of new areas of the Blue Prism control room programmatically. Both of these introduce new ways for humans to more seamlessly interact with digital workforces. I want to know how you might be able to apply those. Finally, um, I will leave it to Blue Prism's SVP of AI and innovation to tell you a bit more about the broader themes to expect at Blue Prism World Virtual this year. Hello, my name is Eric Tyree, and I'll be your host for Blue Prism World 2022. And thank you so much, Josh, for giving us this opportunity to talk about Blue Prism World. This year, Blue Prism World is all about scale and how to leverage your automation program to achieve business goals. Automation is evolving beyond process automation and is increasingly being used for business automation. It's evolving from process efficiency to using automation more directly as an enabler for achieving core business goals, such as competitiveness, customer experience, and growth. So we'll be talking about how leveraging automation strategically means integrating your human and digital workforces into a single workforce, and how SSNC Blue Prism technology is providing the critical capabilities needed to achieve this from a practical, results-focused point of view. What you'll also see at Blue Prism World is you're going to get the opportunity to see customers discussing how they are scaling their automation programs to achieve business transformation. So if you haven't already registered for the event, please do so at your earliest convenience. And we look forward to seeing you at Blue Prism World 2022. Thank you.